Avery, we're on the screen again. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Guys, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a, it's been a long while. Feels like honestly ages since we've uploaded a video here. And there's there's a reason for that. For the holidays, we drove from the East Coast clear to California and parked the RV and spent time with family. It's really needed because as many of you guys know, we're doing a 50 state tour, which means is just us in our RV traveling all 50 states. So we can I have oh, a banana? She's got my hair too. <laughs> Yeah, also, it's been a little sick. That is one of the saddest things in the world, having a baby that's sick. Yeah, as you see, we're not in the RV right now. There's actually a fireplace right over here. It's really nice. Thank you, Jake, for letting us stay. So before we jump in about this whole trip that we did across the nation where you guys helped out, seriously, we had a lot of donations. We had a lot of people's input and help. Oh, she's, she's gonna fall asleep. No. We, uh, I just wanted to throw out there, if you haven't taken a break from social media, like we took this break and it's our livelihood. If you guys saw one of our recent videos, we explained how we make money doing this. It was and hard taking a break, but it was yeah, really neat. It's crazy how life still goes on. But know that we do miss you guys. We're ready to start again. We just needed that time to regroup and reboot. Yeah. So I hope you understand. We're excited to get back to the RV. We need to renovate a little bit in it. That's a little update of where we've been. Thank you for being here. And now let's talk about our road trip. We drove for 50 hours. You guys, you know how insane that is? Well, let's make a service trip out of this and just do stuff along the way. We were live streaming, asking what we should do during this drive. We had no agenda except to get to California. All the Southeast states, we need ideas. That will also affect our plans. Like Literally, as we were starting this live stream, she fell asleep. That trip, seriously, would have not been possible without you guys. So Tamara, she wrote us and she said, hey, my family has this like, we sell this gourmet popcorn and all the proceeds go to a food pantry that we do. We shouldn't call it Hugs and Help Food Pantry. Oh, anybody who needs food, they don't ask questions, they just come, they get food. It's awesome. It's really inspiring to meet this family and be like, Wow, now they feel like family to us. Whoa. So then we went to Alabama and somebody had reached out to us and said, hey, hey, there's this family that I know of. They could really use help. Three moms, they all live together with their boys and there's no fathers present. They work full time and they all take different shifts. That's so somebody could be at home with the boys and they walk to work. So she gave us sizes and things that they need or could want and diapers. We dropped it off with a family member. She updated us later and thanked us a lot and wanted us to thank all of you guys as well. Oh, what'd you do? Oh. She unpaused our movie. <laughs> Louisiana. It is amazing how many opportunities we found like directly on our way. Like Ashton. She actually messaged us and said, do animal shelters count with your drive? <laughs> or you're just trying to help families. We're like, whatever. We love all of it. So she let us know what they needed. We went and got it. Blankets, toys, and treats, and food, and donated it to this awesome shelter. Thank you, Mr. Daly and Bryce. Um, <laughs> then, something really cool in Texas happened. A company called Peak Refuel found out where we were going along our route to send us 100 free meals. They're packaged yeah. meals. You just add boiling water, let it sit and cook for a little bit. So we asked the locals. There's where, like a, a clinic, there's a lot of um, people there. The people we stayed with, we parked our RV by their house. Thank you, Rita, so much. She let us drive her truck. And her neighbor gave us a cooler that we filled up with like hot water. I thought it'd be like a few homeless people here and there. Yeah. I've never seen anything. We just passed a ton of tents. Ugh, breaks our hearts, but hopefully some more meals will cheer some of these people up. That is so hot. Nice. Homegirl's awake. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so good. We got a system where we're doing a dozen at a time. Chicken Alfredo, beef a, pasta marinara. A dozen in the car ready to go. Jerky cooking at its finest, guys. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then there's a water for okay. us too. Alright guys, Bryce is a saint. He's delivering the food. Uh, we got chicken alfredo or beef pasta marinara. Cool man. Uh, I like chicken alfredo. 
Okay, I don't know which ones they want. Which one you want, babe? Beef or chicken? Beef or chicken, babe. I'm chicken. And we just, we're passing through, we had some extra, we're like, everybody's gotta help, right? Yeah, I'm passing my bro. It was really humbling as well, just to, I mean, I probably never would have seen that area in my life if it wasn't for what That's we were true. doing. This is all around us, in our own country. You know, I always think like, well, Africa, we've been to so many places where We've been to slums and it's heartbreaking. So much around us even that people, we need each other. We need to just serve and help and, oh, man, you guys. We've all heard different people's opinions when people are on the street that sometimes it's, oh, they put themselves there. Yeah, if I give them money, they're just gonna go buy drugs. They were, they were really grateful. I remember one gentleman said to me, he's like, thank you, man, I appreciate it. We all need each other. And I just, I think that's true. Regardless of our, your status in life or whatever you do or what you believe, we all need each other and that's why everyone's different and everyone has different gifts and talents. It was a cool way to kind of end our, that area of Texas. And then we went on, I, I forgot about this, but then we bought a goat. Oh yeah, you guys probably, what? Authorizing $15. Pending. Okay, your turn, your turn. Goat. I like the goat because it provides an opportunity to work and provides for the family. The giving machine. There's only like five in the world around the holidays. They're put on by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. There's different organizations that are working with the church. You go to a vending machine and there's things like goats, cows, vaccines for malaria for kids, school supplies, clothing, resuscitation kits for babies, diapers, so many things that just people desperately need, especially in third world countries. We know that someone is getting funded to receive their medicine, their goat, so they can obtain a livelihood. We actually were hoping to get to Chico to help with families that had gone through the fire and lost their homes and lost so many things. Even just talking to someone, that's what I realized when we were helping, handing out meals to the homeless, is just them. acknowledging them as a person. That is of value that you cannot put a price point on. Everyone wants to be acknowledged. Sometimes it's just through social media where people are like, hey, can I have a shout out? It's still that need that everyone has to be acknowledged. You guys have really helped us. It's been just a ton of work trying to make this successful and doing it for all the right reasons. And so we came over Christmas, we're not gonna lie. Yeah, can we, we were be real with you? Out. We had to like really reevaluate like, what's our purpose? What are we, where are we going from here? Are we gonna continue our 50 states? Are we done? Are we gonna do something else? All the comments. All the, all the tags, all the like, all the messages, everything that you guys have done, like, legitimately is like the reason why we're like, no, we have a purpose here. Reminiscing about the messages we got about families who have found the treasures or didn't find the treasures, but just created memories with their like little kids, and they were so excited and it was so fun, and it was like, oh yeah, that's that's why we're doing this. If it wasn't for you guys, we I don't think would be here. So we truly do love you and appreciate you. Follow along on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. We have huge. Huge things coming. Let people know in the areas that we're going where the treasures are so they can enjoy that. And we've also decided we're gonna start doing more digital treasures. Because when we hide a treasure in a state, if you're not in that area or even in the country, you're like, oh, how does this apply to me? We're gonna be having treasures digitally that anyone can have. In fact, we have a really big video coming out with a ton of digital treasures, like a ton, but for and reals. Go get it this year with 2019. If you haven't yet, because you've been sick and burnt out like us, that's okay. Didn't have to start January 1st, it can start now. Love you guys. See ya. Oh, actually, comment below what your new, new year's resolutions are. Yeah, yes. And we're gonna hold you accountable. You hold us accountable too. We're gonna share ours later. Bye. Bye.